hello everyone today in this video we will be learning about the module 4 so module 4 is all about windows okay so we will be learning 6 uh, i mean 5 super important questions which are most expected from module 4 at the end of this video you will get to know what are the key points you need to remember and how do you write the answers it's a very easy module so you can easily score marks so make sure you watch this video till the end and uh, before starting if you like this video hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel your support helps me a lot in making more videos like this so without wasting any more time let's start with our first super important question which is components of windows for the components of windows you just have to remember a very simple uh, diagram which is this diagram this diagram is also there in my theory video i have explained that so what you have to just remember is the normal presentation of uh, how a window looks like in what all you can find here this is the title bar icon this is what this is a title bar and these are the window resizing options the whole is con contained inside a frame start from the up and come down slowly slowly you will have a menu bar here this is what is button this is split box and you have a toolbar here this is the scroll bar after that at the bottom we have four things which is command area you can do the commands here the main things what you do the command and the working area there's the size grip using which you can resize the window and there's the status bar so if you remember this diagram you need not make this diagram but mention each of the component and explain it in depth like for example what is the uh, main uh, working of the title bar icon and title bar menu the title bar icon what it denotes the uh, small sized icon we can use it to uh, resize the button and close the things and you can restore it those things you can do it's just a short form for the title bar. Title bar denotes what's the main content of that uh, title. Or uh, let's take random toolbar. Toolbar will indicate what are the quick access items available in this um, application. So those are the things you need to keep in mind. And this is how you answer the uh, first question, which is the component of Windows. For more information, go, go through it. Uh, here some information is given. Like that only we have the second question, which is the presentation styles. The presentation styles are mainly three styles, very simple ones. The first is tiled windows, means all will be occurring simultaneously and no one will be overlapping. Uh, around each other those are the uh, tile windows and what the main thing you have to write is the advantages and disadvantages for more information of advantage disadvantage go through my theory video in that i've explained in depth but common sense advantage disadvantage also you can write the here you cannot see everything at the same time here you can see everything at the same time here unlimited tabs can be open here it cannot be open and so on that was about the overlapping window and the last one we have the cascading window it's also a type of overlapping window but it will have a standard um style and the advantage is that whichever window you want to uh, make it to the front just click on the top of it you will it will be coming to the front <clears throat> these are the three super important um presentation styles and moving on we have the window management styles window management style there are totally four window management styles which is a single document interface multiple document interface projects and workbooks what are the projects and the workbooks what is the single and document multiple document single document interface will just have one single primary window in that you'll be doing all the stuffs the information is given here go through it the multiple document interface you can do multiple uh, interfaces in just one single interface and you can uh, open a secondary window or called also known as a child window all the stuffs can be done the multiple document interface and coming to the workbooks it will be multiple uh, multiple interfaces means a workbook consists of many different sheets in each sheet you will be having either single document interface or multiple document interface all those consist of a notebook that is called as a workbook finally project consists all those things which are the uh, thing needs to be uh, applied upon and uh, do the steps like the menu bar operations and uh, closing and opening of the window quick access of all the files all the things should be present there those things are no, nothing uh, but the projects so these are the four window management scheme very super important question from exam point of view moving on we have the windows operations windows operation you need to apply some of your brain and common sense why because uh, what happens uh, first when you open your laptop screen you will be having many um, icons here which can access it right so what you will be doing is first you will be activating any other uh, any uh, icon you will be clicking so what will happen you will activate that window so that's the first one activation of the window second one is opening a window you'll be opening that and whatever you will be doing how if it is open where it should be present it should not be present in the corner it should be present in the middle screen and it should be having a distinction from the background it should not have the same color as the background otherwise people will think this also background this also background nothing has opened like that they will think okay so for that you will have to open a window in such a format that it is uh, ensuring the title bar is visible and everything whatever the content is it should have be of the proper size and format everything you have to mention in the answer screen what comes to your mind make sure you don't miss that one it has marks examiner will be impressed by you after you open the window what all you can do you can either just keep imagining you are opened a window and then you're sizing the window to different sizes then you're placing the window somewhere and then you're separating the window see the window is there here you are just cutting half by using some uh, tool and half window is here half window is here that like that in uh, 
reality it will not happen but uh, for marks you have to remember in that way only window separation moving a window means you are just moving after separating two two things you are moving like this and then resizing a window you are making it small and big and after that you will be finally closing the window before that you can do some mouse and keyboard operation obviously without uh, mouse and keyboard operation we can't do anything we have to do that as well and then window shuffling can also be done after all, all those things you can go through the uh, theory concepts and what are the uh, key points you have to write but it's nothing uh, much how you will be making it more smarter more beautiful and more accessible simple all those key points are only there that you already know just write that one moving on to the fifth super important question which is the selecting the best uh, proper uh, device controls to select a device control we have two types of devices indirect and direct devices direct devices are those we are directly access on the screen see i can write directly by touching on the screen this is called as a direct devices indirect devices if i use a keyboard to do some stuffs that is called as indirect devices then <clears throat> and what are its characteristics you can go through it it's just uh, to point an object to uh, do some action and to uh, go to somewhere execute an operation save uh, save something delete something modify alter something add or um, change the size all those things are present here to manipulate the data all those are the characteristics of device based control very straightforward you need not go through it next we have a few of the um, things which are the devices they can uh, ask you any of the devices they can ask you you should be aware of what are the devices meaning trackball is nothing but a ball will be there in between and by using your hand you will be um, scrolling through the ball and the mouse will be moving like this and the joystick already you know it's used for playing games graphic tablet touch screen and light pen all are the devices you will be using for writing directly on the screen and voice is nothing but you will be using your voice to give the commands and make the operations mouse and keyboard we already know what it is so basically these are the most important questions from the exam point of you make sure you know this all concept very well and uh, li uh, like this video and uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one